Hello and welcome to Tinker Chips Lab. Recently I wanted to play a party of Hearthstone, which is a game made by Blizzard. And uh, since my early gaming days I used this World of Warcraft authenticator. Um, back in the days, just to get the pet, which you can get uh, when you get one of those. Um, this is quite some time back now, so... Hmm. I actually never used it for World of Warcraft anymore and now as I wanted to play Hearthstone it told me to give an authenticator code but I noticed that. Uh, wait a minute, I have to make it focus so it says battery zero so it tells me in a few days I would have to throw this in the garbage and buy a new one because they are so cheap like $20 for a big piece of junk. So I thought we could take a look inside and see if we can exchange this battery or if we really have to get a new one. So let's get started. So at first we have to take a look how we can get inside that thing. Usually stuff like this is glued but maybe we are lucky and can pry it open just using a spatula potentially without harming myself it would be really nice but i don't think we can because i don't know if you can see it i already Hello, focus on this, not on my face, thank you. I already made just a dent inside the cheap plastic, so we need some more brutal ways, like a miniature screwdriver, which is really brutal, yay. Maybe we can start by Just somehow trying to get into that without making a kebab of myself. I mean, I'm not using this anymore, so I don't care if it breaks, but I would prefer to leave it somehow intact so that it would be possible to reassemble I don't think that there are screws under this label on there no they aren't it's just it's that some breathing hole <laughs> whatever that is supposed to be Okay, well, ew, it stinks. It stinks really nasty out of this hole. Poor cutting mat. I don't think it is letting us in that easy. So, time for some bigger equipment. Let's try a nice table floor cutter. That's looking good. Or at least better. Yeah, it's glued. So we have to use destructive force to get inside of this. So I can't use it as a keychain accessoire anymore. Oh, it's too bad. But if I need it ever again, 
I potentially could build a standalone version of this or convert it to a standalone version if it's staying intact. So who knows what it's inside. Let's pry this open just using brute force. They really want you to buy a new one of those if it ever fails. Ah, we are getting somewhere. Still working. I can see a battery. There is a battery. You can see it through this slit here. I'm trying to refocus the camera. You can see it shining through that. It's really stinking. It's nasty. Please, what did you put into this? It's disgusting. Still not opening. Come on. Can't be that hard. I must be missing something. Okay, I've nibbled away the whole surrounding plastic stuff and it is still not coming apart. <laughs> Crazy. So let's try poking the screwdriver into it. Okay, there's another another glued layer. Man! Jesus. But I guess now I have it. I guess I have it. Yes! I defeated it. Okay. That's somehow I expected this. It's just a little chip on board and some passive circuitry around. But let's investigate further. Let's unscrew those small tiny screws. What a sweet little display. That is neat. And it's one of those zebra strips, so I would not recommend to take it apart this far because if this is somehow misaligned, you will never make it display anything again. You see, it's already happening because there's missing pressure. So, better reinstall that quite quickly. G06 mainboard date October 24, 2009. And an ID potentially some ID which is linked to myself. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this is a little oscillator. No, it's a it's a crystal. It's a little crystal. I wonder how how high the frequency is of it is. There's nothing written on it. Too bad. That would be interesting. That's really all it is. I wonder if I reinstall a new battery, will it work again or does it need some programming and it has a um, volatile memory? I guess we should check this out. So let's get a new CR2032 battery. I don't have any new ones, so <laughs> I grabbed a used one. Let's see how much juice is left. We have... That one seems to be dead. Let's take another one. That's fine. Let's use this one. And hook the old battery by just
So unhook the battery by just pulling this tab and pushing the battery out. And getting a new one in there. Pushing down the tab again. And just for making it more interesting, I reinstall this little display unit first before trying it out and we will see if it still works or if it has some kind of volatile memory. Which wouldn't surprise me at all as Blizzard seems to make it especially hard to get into there. They want you to buy a new one, so why not make the memory volatile and when the battery is depleted there wouldn't be any way to get this thing working again with your account. Let's see. Our last two screws. And let's see. It works. It works perfectly fine. So, if your authenticator stops working, you could consider destroying it completely, just to replace the battery, instead of paying 20 bucks for a new one, which is ridiculous in my opinion, as this Thing would cost, I would guess, around 50 cents or maximum, I would say, in dollar for producing stuff like this. So maybe I should just clean the corners a bit more of this. Trim them. Use a file to make it flat again and print, for example. Use my 3D printer to print an, a case for it. Or maybe, you know what, I don't play anymore, so who cares? However, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tinkertube's Lab. Maybe it could help. You can see this white stuff around the battery. The battery actually leaked. And this is potentially the reason why it's stinking. Yes, it is. It's disgusting. away with it. However, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tinkertube's Lab and maybe you consider taking your own authenticator to bits before buying an expensive new one and just use it as a standalone device to put on your desk on a nice shelf or whatever you're going to do with it. Everything you're going to do with it is better than spending 20 bucks for a new one. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tinkertube's Lab. If you did, please leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel and give me a big thumbs up. That really helps to keep me motivated. I hope to see you the next time back here in Tinkertube's Lab. Until then, goodbye.